All right, greetings, greetings. Greetings to all. This would be our first broadcast that I'll do illustrating how you do this in real time. Uh, there's a lot of remedies that are out there that most have discovered. Um, case in point, they talk about how you're able to discharge your debts, how you're able to have the treasury offset, how to basically use your trust account. That's what people talk about. But what I've been finding out is that the government, who we call the government, basically has everything in place for us. We just have to do it the way that it's been instructed to do. So what I've discovered from my journey, I've been into this knowledge for about three years, is your only remedy is through the Internal Revenue Service. That's correct. Uh, what I discovered as my journey went in is uh, the Internal Revenue Service is the boss of the Social Security Administration, right? So the Social Security Administration is what we use um, as the Social Security card. And on the Social Security card, there is something on there that is a name and a number. So that name and number is used to do business in the United States, the legal name, because the United States of America Incorporated or United States Corporation is ran as a business or as a corporation, All right? This allows us to understand how tax exempt status goes and how the government is ran in different departments and so on. But that has nothing really to do with us when it comes down to getting your debt. So what I have been able to do is <clears throat> go to a fast, straightforward technique. And this technique will allow you to get power immediately. So as you see, I'm on irs.gov. And all I want you or anybody to do if you're walking through on this video is to scroll through just as anyone could. Uh, you don't have to have any documents in place or any extreme things in place to understand and do these works. So obviously the clues are always on the first page. The clue is form W9. Form W9. So you're going to click on form W9. This is the first stage <clears throat> or this first step to discharge or to pay off, right, or set off any debt. You must have the W9 meaning that you yourself as a business, as an individual, right, need a W-9. Now, without a W-9 in place, it's extremely hard to identify, right? It's, it's extremely hard to identify where the funds go, what account is being transacted. And the account, in this respect, through the Internal Revenue Service, which is best named, that's the IRS, is your social security card name and number, All right? Social, social, social security um, number is something totally different. So I say it as if it's correctly said as the social security card, right? Because all they have is an agency that creates the card for you to go and do business in the United States or to get access to certain programs or benefits or so on. So where am I going with all this? Why is the Form W-9 very important? In the beginning of discharging your debt, canceling your debt, however form you see it, set off. Some people like to use certain words, pay off, whatever. Doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're connected through the Treasury, which is the IRS, and they're going to do it for you. So as you see right here, firstly, you're gonna use Form W-9 to provide your correct taxpayer identification number to the person who is required to file an information return with the IRS to report, for example. And we're gonna skip past all that and we're just gonna go straight to cancellation of debt, all right? Now it says it right there, cancellation of debt. Hmm, I need to do more research to understand what that means to cancel my debt. Let's go in. Let's look at the instructions. 
All right, so now the instructions is giving you more context clues. And you learn this in school, I think middle school, they tell you to have context clues, context clues. Now, who uses it? They're telling you whoever has to do this, a person, okay? A person, right, let's skip right here. For federal tax purposes, a U.S. person includes but is not limited to an individual who is a U.S. citizen or U.S. resident alien, a partnership, corporation, company, association, created or organized in the United States or under the laws of the United States, any estate, a domestic trust, all right? So they're giving you these clues of who a person is, right? Person. So now we know that a person is defined according to the form as almost every entity that was ever created in the United States, period. Agency, entity, business, corporation, whatever form you want to call it, is still organized on the United States. And a W-9 is required. All right, so that answers that question. Now let's go to the next part. I'm going to scroll down because what you have to do when you're dealing with context clues, you want to be able to read through. Okay? read now if you keep going and you keep scrolling these are going to be different definitions and different you know if you understand how it works different things that you can read through to see what a person does and the payments flow through pretty much their jargon but once you understand their jargon which is the Internal Revenue Service jargon, which is pretty straightforward and direct, you will know how to make sure that it's done correctly. Uh, there we go, so that's it. W-9, single most important document that's needed to do any type of business or any identification of any entity or any corporation in the entire United States. <laughs> All right, so we don't have any questions on that because the Internal Revenue Service instructed us to do this. All right, so I just wanted to scroll through that. So now we'll go back to the same page, IRS. Let's get out of this. W-9. Why is the W-9 important? Because we want to discharge the debt over the phone. That's what you want to do. You want to do it over the phone. So the next stage is to get you to Understand why you have to cancel your debt through the IRS. And you only can do it the way they have it designed for you. We're going to type in publication. And this is something I had to research on myself. Publication 4681. Remember that. Publication 4681. Now, when you go to publication 4681, it's going to pull up a form. So it says cancel debts. All right, foreclosures, repossessions, and abandonments. So that should cover every single debt in the United States of America, United States Corporation, wherever you are, every city, municipality. All right, this is the Treasury coming straight out of their mouth. How do we know? Let's go through context clues. Okay, chapter one talks about the canceled debts. Okay, but I'm going to go scroll right down to the to the meat. So you guys don't waste your time, right? We're gonna go right to page six. See that? That's the page that you need to focus on, page six. This is how you know for a fact the treasury is here to cancel or correct your debts. So your insolvency worksheet is what you wanna go ahead and print out for your records. And as you can see, every debt that you have, they list it. They wanna know about your credit card debt, your mortgages, even the rent, right? It's included in rent. It's talking about all that. Two, and three, cars and vehicle loans. Four, medical bills. Five, student loans. Oh, student loans. So as we keep going, you can see all these different <laughs> categories. 
It's right here for us. Next, we have judgments. That's dealing with court. That's courthouse debt, right? Business debts, other liabilities, and so on. This is the debt side, right? This is what you owe, your liabilities. Now, your assets on the other side would be what you would put right here, okay? That's it. So once you get this number right here, they're telling you to add it up one through 14, add lines one through 14, and that should be your total debt, total amount owed, okay? That's how you do your cancellation of all your debt. Once you give the treasury this document and they can see it and you filled it out correctly, then you can get in contact with them and they can help you with whatever form that you need help in. Now, I personally can help you by giving you technical support, although I can't do it for you completely because I don't know your debts, I don't know what you owe, and so on. So I just wanted to show you that, let's get out of that. So now we see where you can go to those things. Cancel debts. All right, so remember that's publication 4681. Now, next question is people are gonna say, well, what do I do now? I see what you're showing me. So as we go over everything, number one, you need the W-9 from the entity or the biller or the creditor, whoever they are, you need the W-9. The W-9 is the single most important document that you ever need to get your debt canceled, to discharge your debt. And let me type it in to show you what they say in Google about the W-9 so we can all get a clear understanding. All right, so this is a W-9, okay? Of course, you can look at it on the IRS website. It's a basic regular document that everybody should know about. You should know how to fill this out for yourself, you know? Simple information, all right? W-9. All right, other than that, that's pretty much it, you all. Um, the next form is gonna be us to learn how to file our tax form, which is the 1040. So this is free tax USA. You can do your taxes for free. You do not have to pay a tax lady or a tax man or H&R Block, Jackson Hewitt, or any of these things. It's been around for a very long time and they have been getting your taxes filed electronically for a very long time for free, all right? Absolutely free, okay? Now, if you need assistance and technical support, with getting into the system and doing it correctly, then I can assist you. I can assist you in that. The next one is gonna be for your business. Let's say you have a business and you wanna get the major return and you know business taxes, you want it to be done right, but you are a DIY type person. You really don't wanna have all people in your business like that. Well, guess what? Tax Act is a good software for you to walk through and understand that. Why do I use TaxAct? Because it gives you straight up answers for whatever you are. And then they go through all your different readmes. Helps you out a lot. Without any education, you just have to know how to read and use context clues again. Why do I use TaxAct? Because I deal with estates and trusts. Okay, so if you have an estate or trust, you want to go ahead and use TaxAct so that you can file your taxes online. And of course, they want you to pay that money once you finish it because they know that an estate and trust form is extremely difficult <laughs> to find, uh, to get, to file. So long story short, tax act will be for people who have a business and you wanna do something that form. And here you go for that. The other one is Free Tax USA. And that's pretty much it. So remember, if you're looking to get these debts discharged, the first things first is the W-9. You need a W-9 for yourself, and you also need a W-9 for the entity that you're doing business with. For example, W-9 can come from someone such as your, your landlord, you know, a landlord, or someone who you're paying money to. Anytime you're dealing with paying money with anybody or anything, the IRS wants to know that transaction. They want to know where that money's going and who is going to and what TIN is being used or EIN being used. Why? Because it's the law. It's what they're saying. 
it says it in a little small uh, article right here. I think it's TurboTats. They talk about it. They're telling you about the Form W-9. Um, they even got other documents that'll help you back it up or whichever. So W-9 is really the beginning. Now let's get into the main magic, right? Like how does this work? Discharge your debt. How do I discharge my debt? Let's go to a 1099 C. Okay. 1099 C is a form from the IRS.gov. They call it cancellation of debt. Okay. And when you get to this cancellation of debt, you're going to see form 1099. You see, they have all the information here. You can put the creditors and information there, their TIN, after you get their W-9, right? You're going to put the debtor's TIN, which is your SSN, tax identification number or social security number. Put your name, your name that's on your social security card, right? Exactly as you see it. Then you're going to put your address, city, and the account number. Account number may be the account that's on the bill, um, whichever. Identify event, follow the instructions of the 1099C form, amount of debt discharged. We went over that. Publication 4681 document, right? And it tells you right there, whatever debt it is, make sure you put that amount for that box. So you're gonna put that there. The interest, if included in box two. So you're gonna put the interest there. Sometimes it's the same exact number. Debt description. They already told you on publication 4681 that they is the Internal Revenue Service, IRS, not a man or a woman, it's the system. The system says put the debt description there and the debt description that they had is exactly what it says. Student loans, mortgage, um, yada, 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 right? Make sure you write the list down as they have it. Check here if the debtor was personally liable for repayment of the debt. That's correct, check. Identifiable code, fair market value of property. And that's it. So obviously the treasury wants you to do it correctly. If you do it with your own, you know, form or whichever, right? And you send it in with just this form. So make sure you file with a form 1096. So you put the 1096 with the 1099C. And that's it. That's all you do. Now, this is where it gets complicated, where people begin to question whether or not it works. Well, it doesn't work if you don't do it. You have to do it in order for things to work. And if you don't do it, then you will never know that it works. Don't look at anybody else's works to see if it works for them first, then you decide to do it for yourself because it wouldn't matter. What matters is that your debts are your debts and somebody else's debts are their debts. All right. At the end of the day, if you have any comments, questions, shares, or you want to join this network, my name is Wallace. You can email me directly you can join the network and we can walk you through one-on-one -on -one. um it's not hard we do accept um we would say donations as well as payments for services it's all on you it's up to you where do you want to go how do you want to do it now you can do it for free but you can't use my information or my advice as saying that hey this is what you said do and it didn't work because technically i have to walk you through what i'm saying to do there's no way i can tell you in one video in one section but i hopefully i gave you and anyone who watches this video enough information where you can move forward and at least know that this is real and it works if you have any other things just text comment or share anything and we'll be in touch peace and love